Oh, hi, it's the Weekly Rap Best to Goldberg, bringing you all the showbiz schmooze you might have missed. And what a week it was. Tinseltown was on a roll this week, literally. We had an earthquake while I was shooting this thing. <laughs> well, Lindsay Lohan is hitting the slam up for 90 days as the pissed off judge had had enough of the mean girl's better than thou attitude towards the courts. Yeah, and she threw in another 90 days of mandatory rehab. Basically, she's only gonna serve 25 days in the Princess Penitentiary. You know, the same place fame whore Paris Hilton vacation? I think it's the best thing that ever happened for the girl. Prison time did wonders for the incredibly talented Robert Downey Jr. Now, if we could only get her fame whoring parents committed to the rubber room at Crazy Acres. Have you seen those two? Certifiable, really. <laughs> well, the world will not be shaken or stirred by James Bond anytime soon as MGM, the owner of the 007 franchise, has $4 billion in debt. The studio has pulled the plug on the hit franchise with no forecast for a future start date anytime soon. <laughs> oh, I just love me some Daniel Craig. Well, who says there is no creativity in Hollywood? All one has to do is visit the accounting office of some of the major studios and you'll see all kinds of dazzling feats of daring do on a calculator. <laughs> a memo was leaked this week that Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix made $1.3 billion, and yet it was still $167 million in debt. Oh, and Disney had to give the mouse a Ben Franklin enema and cough up $269 million to the creator of Do You Want to Be a Millionaire for past profits they owed him. <laughs> Remember when it was the only show on ABC and they said the damn thing never made any money? I mean, it was Regis and a laptop, for God's sakes, and Metamucil, Metamucil on the craft service table doesn't cost that much. <laughs> Uh, and more calculating fun. Little Mr. Miami Vice Don Johnson, he got money owed from his last show, Nash Vegas. Seems the producers of the production company forgot to give him a piece of the $150 million syndication sale, and a jury awarded him $23 million in back pay. <laughs> you know, folks, the studios got to realize the days of all those little paper trails, they're gone. We live in a transparent world, people, and the digital trail will get you every time. Just ask the bank. And finally, another Tinseltown tale with delusions of grandeur. Seen Michael the Situation Sorrentino, you know, one of the greasy guido bags on the Jersey Shores, thinks he's the second coming to Hollywood. <laughs> he was in Las Vegas celebrating his 28th birthday, or IQ score, in the ego-laden reality tard said Jersey Shores was his stepping stone. Quote, he said this, this is just the way into the door for me. Being one of the biggest names in reality, or the country, or the world, or whatever, I definitely want to start moving into scripted and films in another year or two. A film star? Michael, here's two names. Write them down and repeat three times. Harry Hilton and Peter Zadora. Hoi, Fez. And that's a wrap. This is Esther Goldberg, and I'll see you next time. And of course, I won't have any vodka. No, I won't have any vodka. Why? Because as the guy was delivering it, the earthquake hit, and he was afraid to come up three flights of steps. So what am I doing? Another dry weekend in Tinseltown. Oh, get Sharon on the phone right now. Get her on the phone right now.